What's going on guys, how you doing? Before we jump into the video, I just wanna give you guys a little warning and let you guys know that the audio in this video is probably not gonna be very good. You see, with this camera that I use, it's a Sony HDR AS300. Uh, it has a setting on here where you can kind of reduce the wind noise. And so I usually have it off. 99% of the time I always have it off and I usually just attach this little, I don't know, spongy thing to the front of it to cover the, uh, the speaker. And well, that usually does a pretty good job of reducing the wind noise. But when I was down in Marathon and down in that area of Texas, it was just really, really windy. And so I went ahead and turned that on thinking that would help. And well, it did cut the wind noise down quite a bit actually but it just made the rest of the audio really bad so i hope you guys can bear with it um it's not too bad but that's why the audio sounds off in this video so without further ado here's the video so like i said before you find some of the weirdest shit out here in the middle of nowhere like this right here what is that this cage right here, that looks like a human sized cage to me. I could easily stand up in that thing. Was it used for keeping people? It's kind of what it looks like. Anyways, today I'm going to be joined by my brother's friend Clint and we're going to go to the town of Marfa and we're going to go check out a ghost town called Terlingua, which I don't think is a ghost town anymore. I think it's turned into like a, a tourist trap, a place you can go and see what old ghost town used to look like. But I think a lot of the a lot of the buildings and a lot of the places there have been saved and uh, restored and whatnot. But still sounds like a pretty cool place to check out. I'm just waiting on Clint to get here, and uh, we'll get on our way. So join us on this beautiful day here in Marathon. So you want to walk from here? Okay. So uh, today I'm joined by Mr. Clint. Uh, Clint's somebody that has known my cousin for a really long time, and he's known my brother for how many years? Yeah. Think I've known him for since the Belmont days, right? So he's known my cousin for maybe 15 years, my brother for six or seven, and me for a couple days. Wow. Are you the kind of person who likes just walking around small towns and anywhere? All the time. Awesome. Someplace new and just get up in the morning and walk. Have you walked all the streets of these small towns? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm sure you're always finding weird shit, though, huh? Oh yeah, everywhere. Weird people. Weird people. <laughs> and was this all always your style, the, the cowboy hat and the, the vest? And uh, I think that is just required to move to West Texas. Okay, when you're in this area, you just have to embrace it? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nothing is open. Oh, really? <laughs> that's the most common thing said about Martha. <laughs> I guess there's not a whole lot of things open here in Marfa. But this is kind of, this up here is the icon of Marfa too, right? This hotel? Yeah. It's kind of like the, the gauge of Marfa? Yeah. Well, this is where when they filmed the movie The Giant, uh, James uh, Dean and everybody stayed here. So it's pretty significant for that. It's celebrity. Have you stayed here? I have stayed here. It's, it's, it's cool. It's, it's cool. historic. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like the gauge better, but I think they Is the gauge more, more country? Yeah. Okay. We're more ranchers. More ranching? This is a little more. It's a lot of metropolitan types. Mm. But it's very cool. You can picture Elizabeth Taylor and <laughs> James <laughs> Dean. Mm -hmm. They shot it here, huh? But they stayed here, but they shot it outside of town. Okay. 
near where the Prada Marfa store is. Mm -hmm. Nice. A scene from the movie. Nice and cozy in here, though, that's for sure. Got a fire going. Yeah. I don't think anybody's swimming in that. <laughs> right now. It's a little too cold for that. Which hotel is older? Huh. I feel like the gauge. The gauge would probably have to be older. 1927? Yeah. That's right. It looks like the shining. So Henry Truss, he's the same architect who built the gauge, right? Yeah. And so. Okay. Trost. 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 And it's still an architecture firm, uh, Trost and Trost in El Paso. Is it? It's still, still open. Stuff, yeah. Actually, the gauge owner, when he bought that property, is pretty much falling apart. Mm -hmm. He went to El Paso to that firm and found the original plans and hired that firm to be oh, part right. of the renovations. Yeah. Keep it as authentic as possible? Yeah. I wonder if they have anyone here that was to shine your shoes for you. <laughs> Probably not. So Clint was saying it is super hard to find a house here in Marfa. I guess this is a uh, well sought after place by a lot of people. Yeah. People that uh, have third and fourth homes. Third and fourth homes, and then they want to invest in property out here in Marfa, Texas. <laughs> and they do a lot of Airbnbs. There's more Airbnbs in this town than it needs, for sure. Mm. So that impacts the housing for community. You know? uh -huh. What is this up here? This is the Sentinel, which is the local newspaper. Uh -huh. Also the coffee shop and cafe. It's where we're going to have lunch. Nice. Um, I'm a big fan too. There's a little controversy behind it, but I'm a big fan of in this old mill. Uh -huh. That's a Marfa Spirit Company. They, they make Sotol and vodka and Ooh. gin, all from local Locally harvested plants. Pretty cool looking building. Wow. That looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Damn. That looks good. Yours came in a little tin. <laughs> I'm going to need a little wood. Right, a little enchilada. <laughs> That's some cheesy situation. Are those pre-made or something? <laughs> this looks good, though. Kind of looks like Soto Ayam. Yeah, that was so amazing. Basically a chicken, chicken soup. All right, before I scarf it all down, let me tell you what's all in here. Got a bunch of shredded chicken. We got some tortilla strips, carrots, hominy, some zucchini, uh, cilantro, 
but yeah, there's not a whole lot of spice to it, but on a cold day like today, it's perfect. Mm. Those enchiladas have more spice than this, actually. Muy bueno. It was very good. Thank you. This is the, uh, the distillery. Marfa Spirit. Marfa Spirit. Is it tall? You know what Satal is? What is it? Satal? No. It's similar to agave. Okay. Like how they make tequila. It's a, it's a, it's a different plant though. Mm. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely down to try it. It's a regional one. So Satal grows wild in this region. Okay. Wow, what a cool place. I guess I did not expect this. No. No. Hey, what a cool place. Look at cleaning. Yes. I feel like I can smell it. But I can maybe like split it into two glasses if you guys want to share like a, a pour of each. What do we think? I'll take two ounces more. Okay. <laughs> the 80 or the 90? I also do all the frescoes. What do you, what do you play? So this is a so, this is a so tall. So tall. Yeah, so we 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 down this. Okay, you sip, sip it. it. You know what I'm saying? You drink it. I say my sip my it. suggestion is to coat the mouth with it first. Okay. This is gonna be harsh. The Ooh. second taste is much better than the first. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is strong. Pretty smooth though. Yeah, I think one of these is good. There's one, man, that's a big one too. Wow. Two ounce pour? Yeah. You think this is all shit for sale? It's a, basically a junkyard dump. We'll see what you can find in here. So right now we are in a town called Presidio which is a uh, border community right next to Mexico. On the other side of the Rio Grande right there is a town called Oginaga. And I would imagine Oginaga is bigger than Presidio, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. But this is what a border town looks like. Feels like a roller coaster. My stomach just bottomed out. Yeah, the road is really bumpy. I like this uh, right here. It says, "Do not run if you encounter a mountain lion or black bear. Pick up small children. Make yourself appear as large as possible and back away slowly." Yeah, I wonder how many people adhere to that caution. They're like running. I'm running. <laughs> you just gotta be the fastest one. God. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't be the slowest. I mean, the views on this road are pretty spectacular. It's pretty cool. 
And that's the Rio Grande right there, right? Yeah. And that's Mexico. Yeah, it just opens right up, doesn't it? Yeah, this is pretty cool. What a place, what a place. See right down into the river. Yeah. Wow. I think this is the definition of rugged landscape. <laughs> Is this the cacti that you're talking about? Yeah, this is El Cotillo. What's it called? El Cotillo. Jeez. That'll mess you up. Yeah. Looks like you can just fall over the edge right there. <laughs> yeah, not much further to go. <laughs> Like you said, a lot of things out here that could kill you, huh? Yourself being one of them. Yourself being one of them, yep. <laughs> Is it worth going over there? No. I don't think so, but can you see the real ground down there? So when it rains out here, this releases the scent. It's like the smell of the mm, Can you smell it now? Yeah, you can kind of smell it. A little bit. Oh yeah. They make salve out of it, like a moisturizer, lip balm. I love it. What's it called again? Creosote. Yeah. C C R E O. Creosote. -E. And do these bloom a flower too? Yeah. That's the one that has a little red or yellow kind of blossom on the very tip. Mm hmm. These things are so. This would be a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we made it. This is Terlingua, yeah? So we just stopped in Terlingua and uh, we headed straight to the cemetery. <laughs> so Terlingua is known as a ghost town. It's not exactly a ghost town anymore. In the early 1900s, it was known for a, being a mining town, so a lot of people would come here and do uh, mercury mining. And well, this cemetery has a lot of the people that were working on those mines, and they're buried out here. From 1882 to 1937. But in 1945, I guess the town wasn't economically viable anymore, so people just deserted it. And then later on, people came back and, uh, I guess, you know, put some money into it and saved some of the buildings and turned it into somewhat of a, a tourist destination. This is one of the most interesting cemeteries I think I've ever been in. These graves, they just stack rocks right on top of it. Some of them don't necessarily have any 
some headstones. I mean, there's crosses up here, but there's there's no information. There's no names. I wonder why they have so many offerings. They must have been popular. Mm-hmm. I mean, most of them. Do what? Got a while back. He's 08, he's 07. It's like the pores. I mean, most of, them are, most of them are nameless. Right. There's no information, nothing, just a cross. This, one over here too. this woman just died this past, past August, so she's really well known. Oh, really? Uh, kind of hardcore lady of this town. You know who she was? I never met her, but I've, I've heard stories, and then they did a big article on her. She's mm. a, kind of a famed actress back in the day. porch over here where we're going to go, and the locals would just sit, and he would sort of consult with them, and they, this, he was a doctor, uh -huh. and called him. He was a town counselor almost? Pretty much. This is his grave right here. Oh, that's cool, too. Uh, all the booze for bottles? The, for, the, for a beer, he'd consult you with you. Ah, <laughs> that was his price, huh? It's crazy to think like they just so they stack rocks on each grave. Yeah. So some of these is that a baby? Because yeah, it's a shallow. Yeah. I is this like some of them only have a few rocks on it, but there's a, a cross on it. So like that one right there is so small too. Mm -hmm. So this is the heart of the city, huh? Yeah, and that's the old jail over here. It's a good place to start, maybe? Yeah. Gee. Yep. You do not want to be stuck in here. No windows, nothing, no toilet. Are you kidding me? I mean, at least you have a bed. Cheers. Great day. Lone Star. From Fort Worth, right? No, yeah. Where it's from anymore. <laughs> no, it says Lone Star Brewing Company, Fort Worth, Texas. There you go. Alpine, 78 miles, a good hour away, we are out here, no man's land.